Over 600 years ago, in a distant part of the world, a plant was discovered for its energizing properties. Legendary accounts point to the powerful vitality effects of its fruit, and eventually, its seeds or beans were discovered to have stimulating effects. For the next 150 years, it was one of the most traded commodities in the regions of Africa and Western Asia and was called everything from black ink to a miracle drug. Before long, this wonder plant and its seeds had a name, and it was coffee. By the early 1700s, coffee had arrived on the shores of the Americas. Over the next 100 years, advances in brewing technology secured coffee's position as an everyday drink around the world. With the introduction of television, you were certain coffee was in every household in the world, as coffee continued its journey as one of the most traded commodities on planet Earth. But on March 30th, 1971, coffee evolved yet again in a small roasting and retail location in Seattle, coffee would never be the same. Starbucks now dominates the world of coffee houses, and since 1987, it opens an average of two stores every day somewhere in the world. Today, as the second most consumed beverage, over 100 million people in developing countries have become dependent on coffee for their primary source of income. In the U.S. alone, 400 million cups of coffee are consumed each and every day. But the real value of coffee and its fruit are about to change the world of coffee as we know it yet again.